the sun the moon and all those objects shining in the night sky are called celestial bodies these bodies are also known as heavenly bodies some celestial bodies are very big and hot they are made up of gases they have their own heat and light which they emit in large amounts these celestial bodies are called stars stars twinkle while others do not so find out the reason from your book or from elsewhere why some stars twinkle while others do not twinkle the group of stars forming a pattern is known as constellation here you can see ursa major or saptarishi is a group of seven stars from the book you have to find out the name of other constellation the sun sun is in the center of the solar system it is huge and made up of extremely hot gases it provides the pulling force that binds the solar system the sun is the ultimate source of heat and light for the solar system and also sun is the ultimate source of energy for us all the eight planets of the solar system move around the sun in fixed paths these paths are elongated they are called orbits here in the image you can see the white line white circular line they are the orbits of the planets shown here the sun eight planets satellites and some other celestial bodies known as asteroids and meteoroids together form our solar system asteroids and asteroid belt apart from the stars planets and satellites there are numerous tiny bodies which also move around the sun these bodies are called asteroids they are found between the orbits of mars and jupiter natural satellites a natural satellite is a celestial body that moves around the planets in the same way as the planets move around the sun human made satellite a human made satellite is an artificial body it is designed by scientists to gather information about the universe or for communication it is carried by a rocket and placed in the orbit around the earth some of the indian satellites in space are insat irs idusat etc the only planet where life is known to exist our earth the natural satellite of the earth our earth has only one natural satellite that is the moon it is 384400 kilometers away from us The moon moves around the earth in about 27 days. It takes exactly the same time to complete one spin. As a result, one side of the moon is visible to us on the earth.